Welcome to Tokyo, where there's no shortage of people, and with them comes a gigantic appetite for seafood. Yummy! Ooh. Yummy! Yummy! It's yummy! yummy. It tastes good! <laughs> To meet the demand, seafood comes to these parts from all over, including Newfoundland. Japan, though, is just part of the bigger Asian picture when it comes to exports. In the years immediately after the moratorium, seafood exports to Asia were worth tens of millions of dollars. Today, they're worth hundreds and count for a third of a more than a $1 billion industry. Well, I think the Asian market is critical. I mean, we've seen a tremendous amount of growth in, in the past number of years, both for Newfoundland and Labrador species, but across the country as well. Newfoundland seafood is being sent all over Asia. Japan, China, uh, Hong Kong, um, Vietnam, uh, Korea, uh, Malaysia, but even now Indonesia and uh, Myanmar and other developing Southeast Asian countries. So it's, uh, it's changing at a very rapid pace. Daryl Roach has been in the biz two decades and has seen the shift to Asia lead to other big changes, mainly watts being exported. Basically we're making sure that there's absolutely no waste and every um, part of the, uh, of the fish is being used. Behind me is Tokyo's famous Skiji Market. It's the biggest fish market in the world. Every day they handle more than 1,600 tons of seafood. Some of that seafood ends up in this little family-run shop. At the center of the display on this day is Canadian herring roe, a Japanese delicacy. The highest quality herring roe comes from Canada, says Satoru Tadokoro. Newfoundland is one of the herring roe suppliers to the Japanese market, and it's just one of many examples of what gets sent over this way. With quotas being cut and questions about sustainability, Daryl Roach says the industry has to do more with less and be creative. We're looking at challenges such as, you know, the invasion of green crabs. Well, one of the things that, you know, we'd like to do as a company is to find, uh, you know, ways that we can develop markets in China for those green crabs. But finding those markets likely won't be a big problem. Asian countries are pursuing more trade with Canada, so the bigger issue might be finding enough supply. Adam Walsh, CBC News, Tokyo.